seven three two ten forty one. That's gonna be ten seven at the station for a, a statement. Ten four, welcome aboard. That's what they should be they're like though. Oh, I mean that could just be some re, you know. Sorry, they're really loud. Changing the ammunition. No, you're fine. You're not bothering the me. You're excited. Actually, you know what? This is something you didn't bring up. There's um, not even uh, a shotgun mm, cert on the. It's probably as good as it's gonna roster, get. <laughs> so that might need to get added, so we can actually mark people that have it properly. There we I go. think this is probably as best it's gonna get. Because <laughs> you got SMG and AR. Well, SWAT's not even on the roster too, so that needs. Okay. To so, uh, again, your name is. Uh, me and Charlotte. Lillian but, King. Because we got Air K9 okay. Marine Moto. You kind of understand. SEO you were gonna tell me a little bit more earlier, but. Uh about yeah. What happened the other day? I just I guess we can. It'd be better for me to do in here than tell you in person while you're getting a tattoo. <laughs> um. So I got into a wreck with my bike. I honestly could not tell you because they let two other people before that. One, I don't even know his name. The other one, I know for a fact he was brand new, so he couldn't have done anything illegal. Um, that yeah, they used my bike before that. I didn't even know what was on there. I think other, the only thing was some food from Uwu Cafe. So I don't know how the cops got on there. I just know that they took my bike and I had to go get it. And, I told the arresting the officer that got my bike out that I wasn't sure about anything. Um, that I, officer was. Do you remember his name? I don't. It was a it was a female officer, and she did get my bike out of uh, custody for me. But she said that you guys would call me if you had any questions or you needed me to come in and answer anything. And I never got a phone call about it. But um, like I told her, they're not my cuffs. I don't know who they belong to. I, if I did, I would give you a name. I don't even know how you get cuffs. Oh, well, you'd get them from officers, which I should go on record here saying okay. that I am Officer Cortez with LSPD. Well, and nice my badge to meet number you. is 732. Okay. All right. I'll remember that. But yeah, other than that, um, I honestly couldn't even tell you where the cuffs came from or how to get them, other than maybe one of you guys giving in to us, but I'm not 110% sure. And you have no names of the, the two people? Uh, I don't, I actually don't think the other one wakes up anymore, but his name was Chris. Chris. Uh, I don't know what his last name was. He was only in here for a short period. Let's look over the, the warm more time, see if there's any specific questions they wanted. It just said that you're wanted for questioning. Okay. <clears throat> He really wants to know why you locked your bike when when they got on scene. Uh, I honestly didn't know that they were going to take it. I was locking it because I had Maddie with me, and I thought he was going to steal my bike, like, being funny. Uh, but other than that, that was the only time I locked it. Because I didn't know they were taking the bike till after I locked it. The cops said, um, this is part of an active crime scene. I said, okay, and then I got in the car with Maddie, and I left, and I, he said, if you can wait a few hours, and we'll have it back to you, or we'll call you when it's ready, and no one, I had to go up to the police station and get my bike, because no one called me or anything. <laughs> okay, how long ago was this? Oh, I don't know, like, a month ago, maybe? It's been a while. Can you can you walk me through the whole what what happened there? Um, so I was up. Where was I at? There was a pool party, not a pool party, a jacuzzi party. I can't remember who was throwing it. Um, so I was meeting a couple girls there, 
and uh, I got hit on my bike, and uh, one of some one of the guys that I know, I don't know, but they got were running from the a local. Or... No, an actual person, an actual person. Um, well, I mean, they were are people too. Come on, no, Jesus. like <laughs> uh, a person <laughs> that I communicate with better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, I get you. Yeah, they they were doing something. There was a bank truck out there, so I assumed that that's what they were doing. Um, I got hit by them on their way out, and uh, cops showed up. One of my friends picked me up uh, that was driving by. His name is Maddie. Whatever. He had nothing to do with any of that. He was just he j- just came from recycling. Anyway, he picked me up and he brought me to the hospital because the guy who hit me just kept going and didn't stop. And I assumed because he was going to jail no matter what. And then uh, I got back from the hospital, um, locked my bike. The cops pulled up and said, it's part of an active crime scene, blah, blah, blah. So you, you can come and get it. up at the scene after going to the hospital. Which hospital yes. I didn't know it was a scene until after the cops said, hey, this is part of an active crime scene. Okay. Yeah. Which hospital are we at right now? Uh, that was before they just changed it to the one up there by PD. So Davis. Yes. Okay. And then you were hit at what location? Uh, it was, I couldn't even tell you. It was up north. That's all I knew. I remember. It was so long ago. And I, okay. we, so Maddie drove you back up there? Uh, one, yes, to pick up my bike. Because gotcha. I told him that I got hit and my bike was up there. And he said, okay, I'll bring you back to your bike. So you get to your bike and there's officers there? Yes. At the, how about it's how like many? a four way red sock. It was uh, just a guy and his partner. In, there's a, two black shirts? White he, shirt? Black two shirt? black shirts. All right, all right. And uh, I locked my bike, and then he told me it was an active crime scene. That's the only reason my bike was locked, because I didn't. I locked it because Matt, I thought Maddie was going to take my bike and leave me with his car. And it, you don't know this, but I'm a terrible car driver. I'm way better on my bike. <laughs> so I thought he was going to steal my car, and I was being funny, and I locked it. And then the cop walked up and said it's part of an active crime scene. And I said, and you, okay. Like, unlocked it and... I actually didn't unlock it. I just got back in the car, and he, and I was like, how long is this going to take? And he said, I don't know, a few hours, but you can come get it when we're done. We'll let you know. And I was like, okay. And then no one ever let me know. And it was like two hours later. And so I went to the police department and got my bike back. But then when I got there, they didn't and they didn't say anything until we went to the impound. The the lady was like, hey, you had cops on your bike. And I was like, oh, I, I honestly don't know how. And at that point, I had Boomer with me. And uh, Boomer? he was, I'm sorry. yeah. His name is. Boomer. Boomer brought me to the impound. Boomer who? I don't know Boomer's last name anymore. He used to be a king. What's a king? That's our that's our family name. Our last name. Like, I'm Lillian King. Okay, okay. Yeah. So he, like, okay, so relative. Like, third cousin. Uh, uncle? What are we here? He's, I would uncle consider him Boomer. an uncle. Yeah. Uncle, uncle Boomer. Boomer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, let me just make, I'm making sure I'm getting this right. So uh-huh. I'm writing it down. Uncle Boomer. So what? what about him? Oh, he brought me to back to the impound. And then uh, she said what she said, and I was like, okay. And she's like, well, I'm going to release it because they're saying that I don't have to hold it. And I was like, all right. And then she said, we'll call you if we have any questions or if we need you to come up to the station. And I was like, okay. And I never got a contact after that. I, I'm Honestly, if you would have said anything, I would have completely forgot about the situation. If it had been a month ago, I don't blame you. Yeah, it's been a hot minute. Okay. All right. I, I can see what you what you coming from and and locking it and stuff. That that's all the really the questions he had specifically okay. on on that warrant. So, you have any questions for me? Uh, no. Is that all you needed from me? Which is the statement? It is. I think that's it. I think we're. You're more than welcome to to call me though if you have any more questions. To actually call me if you have any more questions. <laughs> I think realistically, if I'm calling you, it's to get my next tattoo, but the one on my back really hurts. Oh, and I promise you, by tomorrow, you won't even feel it. 